What's up, fuckers? It's tea time. Today we have the last thing Hansel and Gretel saw before their vacation with Jesus. It's one of Buffalo Bill's completed skin suits, Miss Moisture Free Marjorie. Oh, <laughs> I imagine that one got the hose a time or two. Doesn't look like she ever touched the lotion in the basket. She's got the charisma of sandpaper and skin to match, but don't light one. Sub-zero temperatures may have more warmth than her, but with that parched hair and hot breath, she's still quite the fire hazard. But when she actually is under fire due to what comes out of her mouth, she always manages to overcome it. Like a phoenix rising from the ashtray. <laughs> while wearing what I assume is family dollar formal wear. <laughs> I'm still wondering how an exit ramp panhandler got a seat in Congress. Could be that the race didn't involve a, a beauty patching or vocabulary test. <laughs> if God had only blessed her with skin as smooth as her brain. She's definitely a solid zero on a scale of one to 10. Well, five if it's a pH scale. <laughs> but we wouldn't want to violate Candida DeVille's HIPAA rights. You know she's big on those. Although she usually hates humans having rights unless it involves guns or divorces. She currently wants a national divorce. Must have gotten inspiration from her ex-husband's September filings in Floyd County. <laughs> We learn so much from our exes, don't we, Marjorie? Like how you're sadistic and unlovable. <laughs> but nothing can bring this old girl down. When she's not signing divorce papers or following AOC into poorly lit areas, she's putting our tax dollars to work playing on social media. The divorced domestic terrorist sympathizer tweeted earlier this month, it's time to take a play out of her ex-husband's playbook. She wants another divorce. She wants to divide red states and blue states into separate nations. <laughs> Misery loves company. She thinks this great separation is necessary due to the sick and disgusting woke culture issues shoved down our throats and the Democrats' traitorous America last policies. Wasn't it the America first crowd that stormed the Capitol? <laughs> the homophobic erectus insisted that her views are quite common. Everyone she talks to says this. But if you exclude insurrectionists and the voices in her misguided mind, who's really saying it? <laughs> Unfortunately for the naughtiest Neanderthal, there is no constitutional mechanism for states to secede. <laughs> but worry not, my witless and wilted friend. We have the third highest divorce rate in the world, so you're not alone. No need for the whole country to get divorced. And besides... There's plenty of fish in the sea. And it looks like her sea of choice is the D.C. Central Detention Facility. Is she concerned about the treatment of the domestic terrorists in custody? Or is she in search of a like-minded husband? Earlier this month, House Republicans began their long-promised investigation into whether the terrorists charged with crimes related to the insurrection had been mistreated at the D.C. jail, something that's just keeping us all up at night. But it's really just the yeast beast and friends trying to rewrite history by victimizing the insurrectionists who killed people to death and tried to hang the vice president of the United States. You know, touristy stuff. Marjorie even wrote a riveting little report about the poor conditions at the jail back in 2021, but present day 2023, she just spent two hours sauntering through the cells of the D.C. jail only to emerge to let us know all is well because they repainted inside and the inmates get more playtime. I guess to record more songs for iTunes. Has anyone heard the January 6th Prisoner Choir's rendition of the Star Spangled Banner on iTunes? It features former President Pumpkin Tits, and it's something. But the best part of this is when Marjorie came out from her tour of the jail, she was met by a crowd of reporters and protesters where she got a taste of her own medicine with hecklers. I wonder if that medicine tasted as bitter as her divorce. She was so worried about gay marriages, she forgot to worry about her own. Stupid fucking... <clears throat> Someone in the crowd was continuously blowing a whistle while she was trying to speak to reporters, while others were shouting descriptions of all the inmates' crimes. I just know she was seething. If only she cared about the safety of children in public schools the way she cares about insurrectionists in jail. Well, that's all for today, everyone. Marjorie, you can head on back to your cave and your cauldron for the time being. I'm sure we'll see you soon. I want everybody to have a great fucking day unless you're a delusional domestic terrorist sympathizer. <laughs>